a video display adapter, otherwise known as a GPU or a graphics processing unit, provides the connection between your computer and your monitor and transmits the signals that appear as images on the display. The image shown shows a GPU's PCB as well as the I slash O area. A CUDA core is NVIDIA's equivalent to AMD's stream processors. NVIDIA's proprietary parallel computing programming model, or CUDA, is a specialized programming language that can leverage the GPU in specific ways to perform tasks with greater performance. Each NVIDIA GPU can contain hundreds to thousands of CUDA cores. CUDA cores are parallel processors. NVIDIA GPUs host several hundred or thousand cores. The cores are responsible for processing all the data that is fed into and out of the GPU, performing game graphics calculations that are resolved visually to the end user. An example something a CUDA core might do would include rendering scenery in-game, drawing character models, or resolving complex lighting and shading within an environment. Like NVIDIA's CUDA cores, AMD's stream processors are a more central component of the GPU. Stream processors and CUDA cores are not linearly comparable due to vast architectural differences, but can be thought of as similar when it comes to the primary function of each component. Stream processing is focused intensely on parallelism of datasets to ensure efficient processing when performing tasks that are better suited for parallel processing. The ray tracing performed by the RT cores can be used to produce reflections, refractions, and shadows, replacing traditional raster techniques such as cube maps and depth maps. The term giga rays per second suggests how many rays can be traced in a scene per second. The more rays that can be traced, the more immersive a scene will look and feel in terms of the ray tracing effect on lighting and shadows. This is the operating frequency of the graphics processing chip found on the video card. This is the graphics processor unit's boost GPU speed measured in megahertz or gigahertz. The memory speed is the speed that the memory operates at measured in gigabits per second. Otherwise known as VRAM or Video Random Access Memory, it is the amount of memory the GPU has and it is used for storing graphical textures and 3D models temporarily. This is measured in gigabytes. This is the physical bit width of the memory bus. Every clock cycle data is transferred along a memory bus to and from the on-card memory. The width of this interface, for example 384 bit or similar, is the physical count of the bits that can fit down the bus per clock cycle. A device with a 384 bit memory interface would be able to transfer 384 bits of data per clock cycle. The memory interface is also a critical component of the memory bandwidth calculation in determining maximum memory throughput on a GPU. Memory bandwidth is one of the most frequently showcased stats for any new GPU, often rated in hundreds of gigabytes per second of throughput potential. Memory bandwidth is a theoretical maximum amount of data that the bus can handle at any given time playing a determining role in how quickly a GPU can access and utilize its VRAM. This refers to the number of pixels a video card can render to a screen and write to video memory in a second or in case of texture fill rate, the number of texture map elements a GPU can map to pixels in a second. They are given in gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate of the GPU is representative of how many pixels the GPU can render per second. This value is always represented as a measurement over time. This is measured in giga transfers per second. Render output units, also known as raster operations pipeline, which is more useful in determining the application of a ROM. A render output unit is a specific component on a GPU that is responsible for the processing of final pixel values prior to drawing them on the screen. ROPs perform pixel read-write tasks that include processing pixel and texel data. Render output units interpret the final depth of pixels before rendering them onto the screen. 
This is a low-level GPU component that operates with some independence, entirely dedicated to manipulating bitmaps and texture filtration. TMUs modify bitmaps, the size, rotate, scale, skew, or fit for placement onto objects and filter textures in video games. This would be represented as placing a texture onto an object. This is a stream multiprocessor in an AMD GPU. Reference Blower type cooler uses an impeller to suck air in at one end, force it through the length of the card that has heat sinks in strategic locales, then exhaust out the back of the card. The PCB is according to AMD or NVIDIA specifications. Non reference PCB elements can be moved and or altered. One common tactic is to use higher quality components such that you have a better, more robust power delivery subsystem to help with overclocking. There is also a custom cooler that contains large heat sinks, large fans, and heat pipes. Reference cards are comparatively cheap or fast to crank out. The trade-off is that a blower type cooler runs loud and is not the best at cooling. Non-reference cards have the cost and engineering delay of a custom PCB and custom coolers. The trade-off is you get a better performance at stock and or overclocking and quieter operation.